Hey everyone, I'm sort of known in the community for not really doing subscriber giveaways. I didn't do it at 100 subs, didn't do it at 500 subs, didn't even do it at 1000 subs. But for 1500, I'm making an exception. This is a response video to Pete Collins, who actually has a YouTube channel here, and does a bit of blacksmithing himself, dabbles around with it. Recently, he put up a giveaway where he's giving away a Sam Towns hammer, one from quite a while ago. And the video is a little odd. I'd link it, but I really don't want to give him the views on this video. He basically spends two and a half minutes ripping apart this hammer, pointing out every flaw he can find with it, before punctuating the end with that he will never spend another cent on a Sam Towns hammer. First off, why would you give away something that you clearly hate so much and call it a prize? Mind you, I entered because I would love to actually own a little piece of Sam Towns history, but I couldn't enter because when I put my comment down there, which I gave a screenshot of just so you can see that I did do it, I pointed out that it was a little bit of a harsh video, but I would still love to enter because I would love to own a little bit of Sam Towns' history. Pete deleted my comment. Sam also commented saying that if he had known that he was so unhappy with his hammer, Sam would have made it again or given him a refund. Pete deleted that comment as well. Deleting comments like that not only makes you a gutless coward in my opinion, it's frankly un-Australian. So I'm doing my own giveaway of a Sam Towns hammer. When I was getting my start in bladesmithing, Sam made me this beautiful dog's head. It's quite small, so it's time for me to upgrade because I'm making bigger knives now. But it is a beautifully made dog's head that I handled myself because I just ordered the head from him. I've put leather thonging on there for overstrike protection, but also it looks damn cool. Sam was nice enough to actually engrave my logo in the back. So it's a little bit of me and it's a little bit of Sam. And I'm putting this up because it is one of the prizes of my collection. It is one of the hammers that I love the most. It is very, very functional. And I want one of you guys to have it because I have just ordered a new Sam Towns hammer, pretty much a new dog's head that's a larger weight and more appropriate to the level that I'm at now. And I don't really need this one anymore. As much as I hate to part with it, this video is out to make a point. Frankly, Sam Towns is a absolute gem of a human being and is remarkably valuable to this community because of how generous he is with giving his knowledge, giving and giving and giving, with no expectation of return or reward back. He has even had Pete out to his home to teach him with no expectation of payment. And this is the sort of guy Sam is. He works with me on the Forgecast podcast, he does his live stream, he does his YouTube channel, all with the intent of educating the community for free. I might add, to try and up their skill and encourage them to do better work and better work and improve their game. Now, to actually take somebody like that and tear down their work publicly is just not on. And I'm not having it. And you can't delete this video, Peter. So, sorry. <laughs> also, I'd like to point out that doing something like that to somebody who has publicly and multiple times come out about their struggles with depression and anxiety is downright inhumane. Now, if you would like to win this hammer, all you've got to do is leave a comment below and when I hit 1500 subs, I will randomly pick a name and I will ship it to you anywhere in the world at my expense because doing a giveaway where I rip on this hammer and then give it away and then expect the winner to pay postage, that's just classless. So I'm actually going to cover all of the postage anywhere on the planet to get this to the winner. And I hope that they use it and not just put it away somewhere because it is a beautiful hammer. The head I have put on at a slight downward cant, which makes it very well suited to hammering in blade bevels, which is what this was for. If you would like to win it, just leave a comment down below. I'd love it if you subscribed as well, if you're not already, but that's all you need to do. I'm not expecting anything else. And as soon as I hit 1500 subs, the winner will be announced. Now, Pete, you don't have to bother entering because I know you don't like Sam Town's hammers. So that's all guys. I'm not gonna do the usual end spiel. You know where to find me. This is a simple straight up competition. And all you need to do is drop your John Hancock in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Catch you later.